Hey everybody, today we have the pleasure of sitting down with Dr. Lewis here at South Texas Brain and Spine Center. And every week we're gonna be addressing different topics, things that you can relate to. And I think it's appropriate to start with something as simple as neck pain that leads to these crazy headaches and things that feel unmanageable. I'm hoping you can give us some insight on what's causing this pain and if there's any remedies that we can try at home for to relieve them. Well, sure. Yeah, neck pain is very common as we get uh, along in our lives and especially as we grow older with gray hair and wrinkles it mm -hmm. tends to creep in the arthritis in the neck and sometimes it may come across as more of a headache that starts in the morning and gets worse as the day goes on it can radiate from the back of the neck to the front and uh, and often sometimes will be a uh, pain going into the shoulder or down the arm into the thumb or index finger mm -hmm. with some numbness and tingling. Okay, and some, somebody might experience any of those symptoms, type them into WebMD and see a lot of scary things, but the important thing is to be mindful of your symptoms, to document your symptoms, and then see a professional to help you get to the bottom of it, right? Sure, I think that's a great idea. Uh, most of the time we start with something like ibuprofen or an anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. medication. Uh, if it continues to give you headaches, wakes you up at nighttime, uh, you start noticing a, a lot of pain in the forearm or shoulder, mm -hmm. it may be related to the neck. Or sometimes people complain of pain right back here in that uh, shoulder blade area, really down to the shoulder blade, mm -hmm. and that can be coming from the neck. Okay, and for someone like myself, I'm pretty active, so I can go to the gym and I'll say, well, maybe this is just related to doing a movement incorrectly or something. But with that said, you mentioned as we age, and of course, a lot of new pains and a lot of, a lot of new sensations happen as we age. Are there preventative things we can do? Would a morning stretch or some yoga be helpful to prevent these issues? Yes, I think that's a great uh, uh, thought. Uh, you know, having you know, stretching exercises, uh, we wake up with a crick in our neck, we mm -hmm. slept the wrong way. Uh, the stretching is the best thing to start the day. Uh, yoga is a great idea as well. Mm -hmm. uh, ice packs are a great anti-inflammatory. Okay. or warm, moist heat uh, can Great. be very helpful. Awesome, so when we're having these experiences in your profession, at what point should we be triggered to come in and see a professional like yourself to see if there's an underlying issue? Well, usually if you get a crick in your neck or a headache, it goes away in a few days to a couple weeks. But if it doesn't, then that's when you should prompt you to go see somebody about okay. that. Awesome, and a little bit about what you guys do here and how you can help. Well, we do, uh, basically we try to treat uh, these problems of neck pain, shoulder pain, arm pain, and headaches uh, with non-operative treatments. Mm -hmm. We usually start with some physical therapy or chiropractic care. And then uh, also we can do cortisone shots that can help alleviate that pain. Fantastic. Uh, we also have like three legs of a stool, three basic types of medicine. Uh, one is an anti-inflammatory medication. Mm -hmm. Another is a muscle relaxer. And then another one for nerve pain. Okay, very good. So it's good to know that there's some other things, other options before we look at something serious like a surgery or anything that intense. But if somebody's looking to schedule some time with you, maybe a consultation to ask some questions, how would we go about doing that? Absolutely, we're right around the corner from Christus Spahn Shoreline Hospital, right on 3rd Street and at South Texas Brain and Spine Center. Love it, give them a call, schedule your appointment today and don't forget to mention Coastal Living sent you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coastal Living's Doctor in the House is paid for by South Texas Brain and Spine Center.